So today we have three bills. Um, the first bill I'll sign is House Bill 5. It does a number of uh, really important things. One, it uh, has the Department of Education. It tasks them with developing and approving uh, an integrated civics curriculum. Uh, it's very important that students graduate high school with uh, a key knowledge of, of, of certain key principles and facts. And I think that that civics curriculum can really provide a guide to how that should be done. Uh, the bill also expands uh, our previous efforts in civics to add a requirement for the high school government class that um, students receive instruction on the evils of communism and totalitarian ideologies. Uh, we have uh, a number of people in, in Florida, particularly southern Florida, who've escaped uh, totalitarian regimes, who've escaped communist dictatorships um, to be able to come to America. Uh, we want all students to understand the difference. Why would somebody flee uh, across shark-infested waters, say, leaving from Cuba to come to southern Florida? Uh, why would somebody leave a place like Vietnam? Why would people leave these countries uh, and risk their life to be able to come here? It's important that students understand that. Now, as part of this bill, Florida will create a portraits and patriotism library so students can learn about real patriots who came to this country after seeing the horrors of these communist regimes. We actually have uh, folks here today. Uh, you'll hear from uh, her in a minute, Anna uh, Abauza. She came to the United States when she was a teenager fleeing from Nicaragua when the Sandinistas brought socialism to that country. She graduated from the University of Florida met a Venezuelan and moved to Venezuela. Well, she had a great life there for a time, and then you had another socialist dictatorship take over and destroy her other country. So once again, she risked her life to come back to Florida with her family, making sure the next generation understands what people like Anna have had to go through for the rights and freedoms we enjoy in this country is exactly why that bill was written.